Hello and welcome back to another Battle Room video. Today, again, we're on round three of the tournament. We're currently 2-0 at the moment. So, we got to keep winning. There's nine rounds of this, this thing. So, we just have to win as much as possible. But today, we, or, yeah, today we'll be playing against a longtime viewer, Encore VGC. Now, I don't know anything about Encore's team yet. But Encore is a lover of Rain and Politoed specifically. Um, so, I'm expecting Rain, which is... Honestly, super obnoxious for my team to deal with. I really dislike playing against Rain. I think Rain can be really frustrating. I think you have to manage Torkoal really well, but Torkoal isn't that good in terrain. Like, obviously, Pelper into Torkoal is great, even if the rain is up, even if the sun is up. But Torkoal is more about empowering his allies, which can be kind of obnoxious. So we'll have to see what Encore's cooking. But I do think Hatterene and Didi always perform super well against Rain. So we'll see i'm definitely expecting rain here watch me like hype up this rain get you all excited and then there's there's none that's that's probably what's gonna happen but let's see baby let's see it come on let me see that rain prove me right and we've got hardcore rain with scissor and uh zavdos as well god this looks annoying um i will be bringing torkoal okay so i think the four we're bringing are hattering and dd they don't have Incineroar, which is great. Hatterene and Didi, Torkoal, and is it Stock? I don't dislike Stock Ataka here, but he's not the greatest mod into rain traditionally. It might be Lando, but not really great into rain. This is a rough matchup. And they also have like Scizor, which is really annoying for Lilligan. Um, I think what the, okay, so they can't really lead Toad though. I think they're gonna bring like Toad, Rilla, Scizor, and then like Aleki. Toad. And, like, maybe Zapdos over Lecky. I don't think Kingdra's really broad. I don't think it's great. So, I'm expecting... Let's expect, like, a Scizor Rilla open. Maybe not Scizor Rilla. Huh. Scizor Rilla seems really weak to Hatterene and Didi. Because they can't kill... I feel like we should Hat and Didi game one and then just figure out what we're doing from there. Um... I do like stack because it body. So I, I really think stack is good because if they're bringing Politoed, Rilla, Scizor, Zapdos, or Aleki, I think stack is the play, right? Just because like it's bad into Kingdra, bad into Politoed, but pretty solid versus everything else. So basically, wall Scizor because it most likely has Bullet Punch and X Scizor or whatever, so it can't really hit stack that hard. And it does pretty decent to Zapdos as well. We could get big gyro bows off, so we'll have to see here. Hard Tricker versus Rain. Let's see. Zapdos Scizor lead, that seems fine. There's no way this one shots in DD. It is that shiny Galar Zapdos. Into a DD hat. So I'm expecting the last mon to totally be. Um It's gotta be. It's gotta be Rilla Politoed. And then we'd lose our terrain, which would be pretty bad. They could SD for free here. But they wouldn't kill. Um They wouldn't kill me. I'm going to switch into... Well, they could CC or something crazy here. But I think they're just going to Brave Bird. I kind of want to just Expanding Force turn one. I, I really want to switch. Part of me wants to switch. I could see them double attacking, though. I don't know. Let's play it, like, super safe here and just Trick Room. Trick Room, follow me. I, I, I like to play it really safe on game one here. They are going to switch turn one into Rillaboom here. Yep, into Boomer. Which is fine. It's not a big deal. Trick Room's going to go up here. It means that they could, like, bullet punch Hatterene if I didn't press follow me. Let's see what they do. I expect Swords Dance, though, to be honest. Bruh, bruh, follow me? And U-turn. Okay, is this, like, banded? Let's, let's find out. That hurt. Makes me think banned. If it's banned, Scizor. So that means we could have, we had to press follow me. Politoed, or it has to be Zapdos here actually. You gotta go into Zap first. That's fine. Trick Room goes up. I'm gonna go into Stack right away. Because we need to try to win the Weather War, which is gonna be very difficult. <sighs> interesting, 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 interesting. Still winnable, in my opinion. Alright, I'm gonna go for Gyro Ball into Zepdos just to get some damage. And I'm gonna go for Dazzling Gleam. I think we're gonna get faked out here. I think this is I think this game is honestly over. I actually think this is horrible for me. 
They're gonna go into poly to it. Okay, that's fair. I wish I like Stone Edge or whatever. Who are they faking out? They gotta be, or they might be gliding, Hatterene. Maybe they're U-turning. This team is very, very aggressive here. They're gonna fake out. Stack attack out. Okay, that's actually better for me. Cause I would've rather, Gyro Ball wasn't gonna do as much as Gleam here. So I could hit both these guys with a nice Gleam. I appreciate that. And they set up Rain, which felt a little bit troll. I think, honestly, I think Politoed is going to switch out. Because I don't think it should stay in here. If it stays in, do I auto-lose? I might. I Well, I don't think I auto-lose. But I think it's going to swap out. But if it doesn't, I actually think if I lose Stack Attack here and KO Rillaboom, I think Torkoal's fine to put a lot of pressure because we know that one of the Pokemon can't protect, which is Scizor. Because I don't know if it's banned for sure. I don't my, don't know my Ndidi Scizor Calyx, believe it or not. But I do know that I think this is a fine situation. And I do think he is really, really incentivized to switch out Politoed precisely in the Scizor, right? In the Zapdos, actually. Wow. Whoa. Don't mind if I do. All right, Glide comes through here in the Stack Attacka. We're balling. Big damage. And this is going to be a huge gleam. Huge gleam. Oh my gosh, this is so good for me. And we're healing off. That was so good for me. Like, I was pretty sure that Politoed would switch out. I thought the Politoed coming in was a little bit troll as well. Scizor's going to come in here. We just need to, like, get the weather control. I'm just going to Stone Edge Zapdos. I know this is a little risky. I'm playing with a little bit of fire here. Nah, they're going in, They're going into Politoed. I know they're going into Politoed. There's no way they don't. They're protecting or going into Politoed. Okay, they're protecting. They're protecting. Yeah, that's fine. And they're going to bullet punch? Yeah, that's fine. I just need to win the Weather War, and I think Torkoal Stack just hard wins this game. Especially because I'm pretty sure this is Bandit Scizor. How many times a trick on my left, by the way? One turn of TR. I could trick him, trick him here, but that's not really a good play. Um, I think Zapdos will swap to Politoed this turn. I'm going to switch to Torkoal, and I'm going to be willing to... Sacrifice one the war. That's not good. I could be willing to let this faint, actually. No, I think this is fine. We let this Mon faint. Dazzle Body Press. Dazzle Body Press. Let me run a calc really quick to just see if this is truly banded or not. Because I think we can set up Trick Room and Heat Wave and we're in a great spot. That's my intention here. And that's why we're making this play. Even though we are going to lose control of the weather, I think we're still going to win. Alright, let's see. Hatterene. Does one shot. Scizor. I, I just literally have no clue how strong um, Scizor really is anymore. That's good damage. Alright, so bullet punch to 70 to 85, like, from Adamant Max. So this is just banned. It's just screaming banned. Which is good information, obviously. But, like, here's the thing. I get Sun here. I get Trick Room here. And, yeah, we're, we're, we're chilling. Because they're locked into bullet punch. I think at this point, Stack Attacka just wins. Um, honestly. Because we get Sun. We get Trick Room guaranteed. I don't think we can get punished. We really brought this back. I thought that turn one was awful for me. I really thought, like, oh, Banded Scizor is just brutal. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this situation. I guess I just lose game one, but we prevailed. All right, Trick Room here is free, and we're just going to press Eruption because if they stay in with Politoed, that's fine, but they're going to switch out Politoed here. I think they have to. I think they're screwed. I don't think they can do anything here. They might actually just stay in to just try to fight out of this situation like maybe try to like scald burn stack or something like i don't know but either way i think we're i think we're gucci here i think we're chilling they're gonna stay in they're desperate they're like bullet punching stack they're like please i need to kill the stack attack in the sun but i know my 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 stack of rocks here is not gonna the stack of bricks will not go down easily i don't even care this is a full power eruption torkoal do your thing buddy now we also win the weather war by the way by the way weather war one and now it comes down to Zapdos and Polyhedra versus the world. We won. We won. We won this game. Trick Room, please. Thank you, good sire. 
and that's game one. Okay, so I kind of felt like we stole that one. Um, I think the, them bringing in Toad when they did was a huge throw, and then we called that switch. But I think this team needs reads. I don't, I don't think it's perfect. Joe didn't come up with a masterpiece for me, but he gave me a good enough, uh, good enough weapon to potentially combat my opponents. Um, but... Yeah, I think this is a game one steal. Let me let me start to think about game two. So like really see, like I do think they have to bring like three of those mons are really important. I think Insin, or sorry, Scizor, Rilla, Politoed is like for sure. Um But Stack just went off this game, honestly. I think they might switch it up. I think Zapdos was super worthless. I could totally see them bringing Leki next game instead, but I don't know if a Leki would have changed much. It would have just still been a liability under Trick Room, so. I don't know. I think this is just a good matchup for me overall. They're not a berry. Polito takes his body press for one HP, and we win. Hmm. 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 We could. We can't really torque Lilligan because I think Lilligan is pretty fire here. But we can't really. We can't really Lilligan them just because like if we lead torque Lilligan, they'll just switch in Polito on turn two, and then I'm uh, I'm lost out of paddle there. So I don't want to do that. Um. Hmm. I think we kind of have to do what we did, but I don't know. We could lead like stack attack uh, in DD, and then like there's less pressure. Nah, they have close combat. We still have to follow me with the, the in DD. I think we just got to do what we did and just like, I think uh, game two we can do what we did here and just play correctly again. I think we could opt to bring um, Lando, but I don't know. Lando does look good in the Scizor. It looks pretty decent in the Scizor, pretty decent in Orilla. Hmm. That was a good game one win though. I, I, I like that a lot. I'll take a game one. I'll take a game one. Okay. I think this matchup is relatively hard though. I hate playing against uh, Rain with this team. It's it's so difficult as I mentioned previously. Um, I think we have to bring Hat and Didi. Losing in Didi sucked though. It really did. We just got away with murder with how we played our Hatterene. We just got so much free damage. I feel like we should have lost that. How do we combat this? How do we combat this? Um, I think they're gonna lead like Scizorilla. But they can't lead Scizorilla. So then I just get Trick Room up anyways, and there's nothing they can do. I think we just do this again. We just run it directly back. How much would a banded U turn do to Hatterene? I wanna count that. Cause that actually might be, if we could live a banded U turn, um, that could be huge for us, honestly. Bandit u turn we do always live. I, I just am not sure sometimes because Hatterene's defenses are so freaking bad that like sometimes I, I swear this mod is just like absolute trash. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I always get a little nervous when I use uh, something like Hatterene. I like how this entire team is like basically 2-5-2 two, two spreads. Uh, this team is like so funny. Like when Joe, Joe sent it to me, he's like, dude, this is the sauce. And then last night at midnight, he DM'd me and he said, yo, dude, do not use that team. I just played it with best of three. It's awful. And I was like, dude, I just practiced with this team for like an hour. What do you mean? And I said, I'm going to use it anyways, man. And he's like, okay, man, your funeral. So here we are using this, uh, this team. All right, let's see it. What is it? Scizor Kingdra. Ooh. <laughs> I'm okay with the Kingdra bring. I really don't think Kingdra is that good here. I think they're just gonna U-turn, right? Muddy Water U-turn? I don't know, dude. I actually think they might mess up here. I can't. I can't go in a stack though. I think they just U-turn on me, and then they just muddy water, which sucks because I have to press follow me, lose them on, but I think that's okay. I think this is our play, unfortunately. I don't think I have a better one because I think they're going to muddy water U-turn the hat, and judging by the calc I just ran, we'd most likely faint to that. We do dodge here onto Hatterene. That's awesome. I'll take that. Not even because of the damage. Just because I don't want to get cheesed by accuracy drops. That's always really annoying. And we're going to lose our terrain turn one though. Which sucks again. Like this is so hard. This is so hard for me to deal with. Honestly. 
I honestly, maybe I wanted to get by the muddy water so I could run the calc and see how much we're actually taking here. I do think we can go into stack though now. And we're actually okay with that. This matchup is so difficult. I'm not sure what to do. We really did get away with murder game one. Because they, they do have to fake out Hatterene though. That's the saving grace here. What I could do is honestly, I could set up Sun and then swap out into stack right away and Dazzle and Gleam. That actually feels kind of good. I think that's what we'll do. We're going to set up Sun, swap out, because then they're less inclined to potentially leave Rilla in. But it also means that we get up stack. Like, I think they're just going to fake out with Rilla, and then we just get to switch into stack, um, and then we're in a good spot. They also might fake out the Torkoal now, um, because Torkoal is a big threat to our team, or to their team. So we can just really dazzle here. I do think we're in a really rough spot, though. <laughs> I don't know how we're supposed to win this. I think this matchup is just, like, actually so difficult. I'm trying to brainstorm ideas here to, to figure out how we can win a game three. I just think losing in DD turn one is just like so bad. And we can't even like, I can't even lead stack because um, like they could just, they could just lead Zapdos again. And then I still have to lose in DD. Does Scizor learn superpower by chance? They would draw Kingdra. Interesting. To follow dude. That's amazing for me. I think it does get superpower. I'm not fully sure though. It's it's saying it doesn't Pokemon Showdown, but you can never trust. They're gonna fake out stack. Oh wow. That's actually money. This is a free gleam once again. Dude, see the thing is is like we're just slowly like getting ourselves back into this matchup, even though it feels like it should be freaking unwinnable. Okay. Like we can still win this. Like straight up, we have three turns of TR here. This is winnable. I wonder which one does more. Probably Stone Edge, right? I think we have to Stone Edge Psychic with Polytoad. Or expanding force it. I don't think it I think it will stay in this time. I think Polytoad will stay in. We hit Stone Edge, thank god. I, I didn't really want to rely on it. I don't know if we'll actually kill. Oh crap. How did I miss the berry last game? What the heck? I missed the berry? Excuse me? All right, expanding force. We're trying to do damage here. Oh, this is so bad now. Okay, I don't know why how I missed the berry. Oh wow, we did so much damage, but we lose stack attacka. Oh no, stack attacka lives. He's clutch. No burn. No burn, and they're gonna U-turn. Okay. This just got a whole lot more winnable. Double rain mode. I I do think the Kingdra being bring is respectable. They can't go into Kingdra, they have to go into Scizor here. And then they're going to threaten the Bullet Punch. And then we'll have to figure out which one they're truly going to Bullet Punch. They can't risk losing Politoed though, Scizor. They cannot risk losing the Toad there. At all. If they lose the Toad, they lose the game. Because then we'll have Permanent Sun. Well, they don't lose the game, but they're in a I'm in a much better spot. I think they switch out into Kingdra here and they bullet punch. I'm gonna body press and switch to Torval. <sighs> this one's stressful. I think it's now winnable. I think it's winnable. I'm just not sure how to deal with this this lead because Scissor plus anything is such a huge threat to me because I need to set up Trick Room. I don't know, man. I can't even lead like Lando. I can't lead in, in uh, the Lilligant either. All right, they stayed in with the Toad, or no, no, they could switch, they could switch, because Hydrogen is the fastest mom in the field. They would draw the Toad, yes, that's correct. Who are they bullet punching? I think they, they're actually going to Rilla. I think they bullet punch, uh, if they bullet punch stack, that's crazy, wow. I still live, right? Nah, I actually faint. Okay, I mean, I think it's game. Hmm. Did my opponent just massively throw an auto in game one? And then I just can't win. Mm. I have to think here. This is this is this one's this one's a perplexing puzzle. So Hadrian and Didi just falls victim to like Scissor plus King. I think he's gonna lead Scissor Scissor Kingdra again. Scissor Kingdra is one of the more frustrating leads for me. If I lead if I lead like Hatterene, um I, I could lead like Hatterene plus 
um, Lilligant and see what he locks himself into and then make moves accordingly after that. I think that might be what I have to lead. It's kind of a weird lead, um, but it puts a lot of pressure with Sleep Powder and with um, the threat of switching in Torkoal. I think that's our, our plan. All right, I'm just gonna, I guess I have to protect here and I'm just gonna go for uh, Eruption if I can move. I guess technically we can still win this, but it's pretty doubt. If they like actually throw and like fake out Hatterene or something crazy. <laughs> um, so Hatterene and Didi, or Hatterene plus, um, Hatterene plus Lilligant could be good, could be decent. Or maybe it's Ndidi. Ndidi plus. Well, Ndidi isn't the great lead. I don't really want Ndidi. I, mean, I keep losing the terrain and it's been such a problem for me. Did Trigger Man? Well, did. I think I have to double protect here to like give myself hope. And then like I guess I hope they throw in some crazy way that involves them leaving both their Pokemon in. No, they're gonna U-turn. They're gonna U-turn. They're gonna U-turn, right? They U-turn the Torkoal. You have to. Okay, I was gonna say, if they use your hat, that's the trollest stuff ever. I would just win the game. All right, I think we do just lose to Kingdra Rillaboom, but it's whatever. I need a double protect there. How fast is Lilligant? 142, that's faster than Kingdra. I would just outspeed. I think it involves Lilligant and Sleep Powder. I think that's our way out of this one. I think we gotta hit some crazy powders to win this. Eruption pops off, dealing big damage, Scissor goes down. Plotoid actually lives, which is, I think, not optimal. Well, maybe it is optimal. Because I could, like, dodge Muddy Waters here. And then I could set up a Trick Room again. And then I could... Oh, they send in Boomer. That's respectable. I think I just need to double protect on, like, Torgal to, like, give myself hope. Copium here. I will press Trick Room, and I will press Protect. Lilligant plus something, but I'm not sure what it is. It might be Ndidi, but I don't really like Ndidi as the lead. You speak out Hatterene, right? Yep. Fake out on Hatterene. You could even Scald Hatterene. Yeah. You don't really need to threaten Torkoal. Torkoal doesn't win the game. Um, okay, I think it's Lilligant plus something. And then it's just going to be about getting Sleep Powder turns, right? I think it's Lilligant, Hatterene, Torkoal... And Indeedy. And I think I lead Lilligan Hat, and then I just double protect turn one, fishing for information and control of the game, and then we just go from there. I think that's what we do. Alright, um, can we win this whatsoever? I'm thinking no, but I think the throw is that like somehow Hatterene lives. I don't know. Alright, I don't get the protect, that's okay. Because dealing with Kingdra is difficult, but I think that Lilligant does give us a much better matchup here. Like, Lilligant's Sleep Powder Scizor puts a lot of pressure on Politoed and Kingdra with Sleep Powder. And Leaf Storm is just crazy good damage, right? So I, I think this is winnable. I think we just have to play our Lilligant extremely well. We can do this. We can do this. I know we can do this. And we need to play Ndidi better. And, that's, and if we do that, we're fine. I mean, this matchup is just really, like, nightmare fuel. We just need to play our diff here. I, man, that one, that one, this is a hard one. It's it's hard to figure out what the the boat most optimal play is. That's that's the thing. That's the issue here. Is it's really difficult to figure out a hundred percent what the best thing to do is um, because they have uh, counters on counters. Like they can counter my terrain and my weather. It's really difficult. I think rain is one of the hardest matchups. I think it would be worse if they had an Incineroar though. I think we're gonna go Lilligan, Hatterene, and Didi Torkoal, and we're gonna have to play Torkoal like a legend. Like a legend. And we're just going to fish turn one for information. And then on turn two, I mean, I might just, depending on what they lead, I might just go out swinging and just like sleep at her. But I think we're going to lead Lilligan, Hatterene, and Didi Torko. I think this is really good. I think we can win with this. I really do. Because I think we need to conserve our terrain better. And we just need something to lead. We need pressure. And Landorus and Stakataka are not giving that pressure. But Lilligan just makes opponents act crazy. So I think the Lilligan Gambit in game three could be just enough and i think that's all we all we can do is just rely on the lilligant gambit here but i do think knowing that scissor is banded knowing that it has to lock into something does favor us and we can use that to our advantage i think that's what we have to do and then 
um, I think we can coerce Encore into certain plays that we can abuse, like um, with big dazzling gleams and stuff. Okay, I want to know how much Hatterene does to Kingdra. Because it shouldn't kill. Kingdra actually is like kind of beefy. Oh, no, this isn't Life Orb. I'm not Life Orb, unfortunately. They lead the same thing. So I'm doing about 90% to 75 with Gleam. I think what they might do is like double tap a little again, turn one, honestly. That wouldn't even be crazy. Um, I know I'm faster than Kingdra. Oh, if it's timid, I actually don't outspeed. Interesting. I think this is a double protect to fish out what my opponent's going to do. And then we'll we'll navigate from there. I think we should double protect here, though. I, I don't see how I can really get punished. Like, if they switch into Politoed, don't care. Switch into Rillaboom, don't care. Like, I just... I All I have to do is uh, pivot to the to the Mon I think is needed. And most likely, that's just in DD. All right, we do a little twirl. That was so cute! Oh my gosh. Indeed, or Lilikant is so adorable. All right, what are they going to do? Muddy Water and U-Turn, right? Muddy Water and U-Turn. Into Hatterene. They want to keep Hatterene honest. Fair enough. All right, let's just Sleep Powder and Trick Room then. What is the punish here outside of a miss? We just... I mean, honestly... This matchup's horrible. We just gotta hit the sleep powders, boys. We gotta hit those sleep powders, and we're money. If we miss sleep powders, oh well, it's Pokemon. Who cares? This is a bad matchup. We still have many more rounds to play in this tournament. If we miss sleep powder, we miss sleep powder. They would draw Scizor and a Boomer. Mm, this is so good for me. This is so good. Exactly what we needed. Exactly what we needed here. Lilligant is already doing wonders. All right, this is really important. I wanna see which one's faster. It is. Lilligant, it's Modest Kingdra, Modest Kingdra. And they're gonna go for Muddy Water. That's fine. This is A-OK -okay with me. Hatterene takes that like a champ. Lilligant does lose its Sash. The actually, actually drop's not a big deal on Lilligant. How much would Expanding Force do to this thing? Let me just peep this. So we've got Psychic Terrain. We've got the uh, Twisted Spoon. Expanding Force will definitely maybe come close to killing. Depends how bulky it is, actually. If it's got no bulk, we'll actually really kill it. And I think, like, nothing wants to take this big hit we're about to throw at it with Expanding Force. I think this is the play. Hatterene honestly might KO this thing. It might just protect. I think they're just going to switch to Scizor. And, uh... I'm expecting a Scizor switch and, uh, with Boomer. And then... Oh, Boomer didn't switch. It might just be U-turning, then. Maybe it's just a U-turn. But then it's going to take an Expanding Force, which I think dealing damage to Rillaboom and Kingdra are the most important threats. And Politoed. Scizor is like the least important because we can just eruption at any point. I really hope I just get to hit this. This is so good for me, I think. They protect Kingdra. But we're still going to do big damage here with Expanding, which is awesome. They'll probably U-turn with Rillaboom. How much does this do to Boomer, though? That's my real question. A nice crisp half. And then he's going to glide. <gasps> he's throwing. He's throwing so bad. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is the easy double expanding of my life. The easiest double expanding. Holy moly. What a colossal throw. Kingdra has to faint. Politoed has to take this. Or Scizor is going to take a double expanding. That was such a throw. Boomer just needed to U-turn. Oh my gosh. A turn too late, buddy. A turn too late. I don't even think Scizor really wants to take this in reality. Kingdra's gonna take it too. Oh my gosh, this is so good. So good for me. That was the biggest throw I've seen. Oh my gosh. This is just a great turn. Double expanding for us. Big damage. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? Hatterene just did that much to the two... Oh my gosh. And now indeed he gets to go big too. Beep boop bop bop. Oh my. Scissor almost dead. Scissor is legit almost fainted. Okay, right here? Well, this is just the easiest. Um. They might go for a U turn. How many turns do we got? Shukram's got two. This could be a follow me expanding force in the scissor. It could also be a helping hand gleam if they decide to U-turn. Because I could just follow me, and then U-turn's better. 
I'm going with my gut here. I'm going with my gut, helping in Dezel. I'm going with my gut. It's gonna go into Rillaboom, and I think they're gonna U-turn. Because Bullet Punch is, they, they know I'm gonna follow me, so they're just gonna U-turn. And they're gonna hope that they can live the turn. If I get this right, I just win the game, I think. Please. I'm risking, I mean, it's not super risky, but I am, I am kinda, I'm kinda going hard here. Yes! Yes! I got it right! Please KO both. Oh my gosh. I'm broken. I am broken. That was insane. Easy money. I caught that U-turn. I caught that U-turn so hard. Oh my gosh. It's over. It's over. We have Sun and we have Lilligant. This is over. Polito is way too weak as well. Honestly, at this point, the big one is just uh, Hatterene can just win with Dazzle. Um, I think we attack with Ndidi. Well, I think they're just going to double protect. I'm going to Expanding Force uh, Politude here, and I'm going to switch to uh, Torkoal. It doesn't matter. We just get the sun up, we win. Torkoal's worthless now. We actually killed Scizor with Hatterene. Hatterene just went insane mode here. The Lilligant Gambit paid off. Man, I was feeling so down about myself on game two. I was just like, man, am I even being entertaining enough? I'm trying to focus on how to win this game, but I'm trying to also talk to you guys and try to explain uh, how stressed I am, but I'm just like, my brain is just whirring. I'm just going nuts. I'm like, figure it out, Colin. You can do this. We got to win this. We got to win this. All right, it's fine. I don't really care. I think Lilligan just wins with the after you uh, dazzle at this point. Hurricane misses Ndidi. That's fine. They thought Lilligan was going to come in there, really? <laughs> Ndidi's got a Psychic Seed. Honestly, at this point, Ndidi's kind of going nuts. All right, I think we just expanding force the Politoed and then... uh. Earth power it. We don't have to try to miss moves. I mean, we might miss moves because of Muddy Water, but uh, helping in Muddy Water, I don't care. I simply do not care, and neither does Ndidi. Ndidi will dodge. Free dodge! Free damage! Torkoal takes a number, I guess, but Torkoal is not even important anymore. Scizor has fainted. Our queen is Hatterene. Alright. I like that little rhyme. Uh, Politoed lives with 1 HP, but... It's going to faint to this EP. And now it is a 1v4. A 1v4 free win. I think Lilligant was needed just to be disruptive. I almost think, like, I think it was super important that I won that game 1. Because I really, this matchup is really difficult. And if I, if I did lead Lilligant in game 2 and 3, I think it might have been harder for me to actually win the game. But because I was able to use it as a game 3, like chaos mode basically it really worked for me i didn't expect to be leading the indeedy uh indeedy lilligant lead honestly or the hattering and lilligant lead i wasn't very familiar with that one but it worked out it worked out i just got also sick reads on encore like the whole set all right expanding force we miss nice good job good job indeedy you're the greatest <laughs> did we get an act drop i wasn't paying attention but Lilligant should just win here. They have to, like, hit a Hurricane. Um, I also think we could just switch out in DD. I, I think we're fine. Let me see if we did get that act drop. We did get that act drop. I'm just going to switch out in DD into Hatterene. And uh, I'm just going to protect here. I don't want to risk missing anything. And then I can, after you Daz and Gleam, I should have a 100% win con. Because I think they have to Hurricane here. If they Muddy Water here, I don't really care. But I think they have to Hurricane my Lilligant. To win the game and then i should get the 100 percent accurate win con but worst case i still think i can hit them with a leaf storm and win the game that way and they fall right into my trap hurricane comes through i mean i think it was safe but i don't want to lose the game on a bunch of muddy water miss i don't want to miss on like a leaf storm or a bunch of expanding forces there's no point in losing like that that would be silly so now we're going to press the crazy fun after you um dazzling gleam button and I simply don't think we can win. After you. Or can't lose, sorry. We simply will win here. After you, my kind madam. Why, thank you, Lilligant. I think I'll blast them with a gleam. <laughs> GG Encore! Let's go, baby! Ah, GG. We take those straight to the bank. 3 0 in the tournament, baby. 3 0. We're on our way to cut, baby. We're on our way. Thank you guys so much for watching.
Am I 3-0? Yeah, I'm 3-0. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Spike Myth content. I think these matches are really, really fun. I don't know how well they're going to do because it's still uh, the day of the tournament. So I hope you guys are enjoying them from the future. Thank you. Have a great day. And thank you for watching. Bye.